Hi, uh, one or two people from other teams decided they would like to try and make a, a stronger floor for their uh, boats. So we decided that we'd show you how to make a composite floor out of cardboard. Um, now composite floor is actually quite unusual in that uh, you're going to take some cardboard, you're simply going to change its shape, glue it back together again, and create a completely new and very much stronger structure that can be used in the bottom of your boat to give your boat that extra bit of strength. So, how do you go about doing this then? Well, first of all, you've got to try and imagine that what I'm going to do now is always going to be on a miniature scale. And imagine this is just an example of the bottom of your boat. So, Essentially, we're going to take a separate piece of cardboard, we're going to put it into your boat, and we're going to make sure it's the correct width. And then we're going to take another piece of cardboard, exactly the same size, and we're simply going to lay the two on top of each other, so you'll end up with something that looks like that. Now, that's going to be the top and bottom of your composite floor. Oddly, your composite floor is going to be made from another sheet of cardboard. And the interesting thing here is that you need to cut strips from that cardboard so that you can create some little tiny rings. Now, it is important at this stage you realise that you cut your strips that way across the actual corrugations of your cardboard. So your corrugations of your cardboard run up and down and your lines that you're gonna cut out go across the corrugations. Now these corrugations uh, are fairly small and tightly packed together, but the actual size of the strip has got to be consistent. And these are all two centimeters high. So all you do now is you take your strips and you cut them out and you end up with a whole series of strips that look something like this. Now to check you've got the corrugations in the right place, if you turn the, the uh, piece of cardboard on its edge, you can see all the corrugation ends poking out through the top. Now, if we we're simply going to uh, use this as it stands, the actual um, ring you'd make would be far too big. So we measure halfway from one end to the other. We cut the corrugations in half. We'll cut the uh, strips in half. And then we turn these strips into little loops using a piece of tape like this. And then we bring this end around and we can form a little loop like that. Now, at the moment, that does look a bit kind of odd, but just shape it up and you can end up with a nice little circle like that. I'll do one more for you, just so you can see it. Okay, bring the end around and press it down. Now you can see the reason why it needs to be two centimeters or consistently the same height all the way around because you want the height there to there to be exactly the same each time. One more piece of tape on there, bend this one around, bring the ends, line them up as you bring them together and then you end up with your little tiny series of rings. Now I've got a couple more rings here now as you can see the rings can be of different sizes but ideally you want them to all to be of the same size. This was just me kind of cutting them out and not quite getting the length right. These are all the same size because of the circumference is exactly the same. So once you've got a series of rings, 
you take the baseboard that you're going to use to put in to your boat and you take some of the glue that hopefully you've got left over from building your boat and all you do is you think and you put these out dry first to kind of make sure you can get them all on and you put a whole series of rows of these and then you put different patterns in something like this so you end up with what looks like a honeycomb on top of your sheet now the thing is that's not going to stay there on its own so obviously you've got to stick it in place so all you do is you take this off dip it in your glue make sure you've got plenty of glue on this pick it up bring it over and stick it in place just leave it in place don't put any pressure on it for the minute okay go to glue whoops nice big bubble okay bring it over stick it in place that's looking good one more okay lift it up this big bubble stick it in place now what you can do at this point is you can adjust these to make them all kind of fit nicely together Couple more. And one more just for good luck. Okay. So now we've got the start of our honeycomb. Now I could end up doing a whole stack of these. Just show you how easy that would be. Roll it round, stick this together again, just like I've done all the others. Get my little circle, dip it in, and transfer it across. Now, it'll be good if you could end up with a regular kind of honeycomb, something like that. But don't worry, as long as you've got these fairly nicely packed together, because these are really the strength of your particular type of honeycomb. And that honeycomb is what makes up our composite deck at the end of the day. So let's just put one more in. Again, I'm going to try and make it a circle if I can. Try and get the shape right before you put it onto the cardboard, because once it's on the cardboard, it tends to kind of just hold that shape. Okay. Now, because I cut these all the same thickness, the height of this floor now is exactly, it was very much, almost exactly the same all the way around. Now I've got to make sure I can get this deck to stick on the top of there. And the way you do that is you take lots of glue and you put a layer of glue all over the bottom of the next section. I'll try and get as much of this on there as I can. Now be quite liberal with this glue at this point. Okay, if you need to add a little bit of water, that's fine. to kind of make it spread out a little bit further but make sure you get plenty of glue because this glue will flow down over those pieces of the cardboard and hopefully the whole lot will stick very very firmly together okay make sure it goes right out to the edges So, imagine I've done the whole, of this, the whole of the bottom of this board, and then you simply line, put this on top of the cardboard hoops that you've got in place. Make sure all your edges line up, 
And then you take some very, very big, hefty books, and weights, and you put them on top to make sure you hold everything in place. Now obviously, I'm going to put this little one in here as a spacer, just to kind of give us a, a decent kind of uh, even feel to the uh, space between the two boards. But then I'd leave that until it goes uh, hard. And the whole point is that as it sets, the whole thing merges into one large structure. And that large structure will end up looking something like this. And there you can see, I have my all my little rings all glued together. I have spaces between them and I have this deck on top. And that deck, if you go near on it, it will give a little bit, but actually this is extremely strong. And the whole point is that by putting in a composite deck into your boat, you're gonna make your boat much, much stronger. And you're gonna reduce the risk of you putting your knee through the bottom of your boat, which you're gonna spend several hours trying to build. And there's nothing worse than that long swim home when you punch a hole through the bottom of your boat. So, very simple. Mark out some two centimeter uh, wide strips, cut them out from the cardboard, make sure you've got the corrugations going the right way so you can see the little gaps there like that. That the corrugations run up and down, with the stripes going across, and use those stripes, those little tiny loops, to join these together and to form your little circles. Make sure you've got plenty of these little tape tags available to you so that you don't have to worry about it. And this is a job that loads and loads of people can do because for the whole deck of your big boat that you're making, you're going to need probably about 50 or 60 of these little circles. So check it out before you do it, lay it out when it's dry, have a dry run, and then stick all your rings on. Anyway, have a fantastic time. I hope you enjoy building your composite floor out of cardboard. Bye for now.